everybody happy vlogmas day 11 i am just having my breakfast this morning i've got my acai bowl which i am thoroughly enjoying it's a little bit cold for an acai bowl but i just really felt like one so the kids are both off at childcare, and i'm just catching up on a few vlogmas videos on youtube still not feeling the greatest as you can hear in my voice feel a little bit better than yesterday kind of but my cough is worse anyway i'm gonna go ahead and finish this acai bowl and then i'm probably gonna have a shower and to figure out what i'm gonna do for the rest of the day probably a lot of organizing I've been really getting into this like cinnamon turmeric coffee and it's really really good if you've got muscle aches or joint pains at all I highly 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 recommend getting some turmeric into your life anyway I think I'm gonna tackle the cupboard today I'm just trying to clean it out a bit so yeah, I'm just gonna get started on that So I've actually done it. I've managed to clean out the pantry and reorganize it. I'm not going to show you too closely just yet because I think I really want to do a um, pantry tour <clears throat> probably in the next month or so once I've started to like really transition myself from like vegetarianism over to less dairy products but I'm really quite proud of how it looks at the moment and we're slowly but surely getting there with the uh, no waste stuff by saving jars and putting stuff in jars and now that we've got a um, actual local source uh, bulk store I'll be using that as well hopefully in the near future so that will um, save on getting waste stuff as well so yeah Whew, I am hot and sweaty and tired so I'm gonna have some lunch and sit down. <laughs> so for lunch I'm actually trying something new. I made some rice pepper rolls um, with some of these stir fry things that I bought from fries. They're like a, a frozen stir fry thing. They're actually really really delicious. I've had them before um, and I put some soba noodles in there, some carrots and some spinach and I've made a little like tahini soy sauce um, dip thing. So yeah gonna try that. Um, they're not the uh, best rice pepper rolls anyone's ever made they're pretty they're pretty misshapen but it's all in there so that's a good thing i'm gonna try this and hopefully it's not horrible not bad i've just been drawing up april's toilet chart possibly going to be toilet training her over the christmas new year's break so i'm just trying to get ahead of things there if anyone out there has toilet trained before and has any really good tips please let us know because we're a little bit apprehensive about it just because it's obviously our first baby that we are toilet training um but she's showing some signs and also i don't know she's just she's seen us on the toilet a lot she asked to go to the toilet she's sat on the toilet a few times now she hasn't actually done anything but she just knows it's kind of part of the routine so we're going to give it a shot when we have some time over Christmas break to spend a good decent like four or so days just at home um, and because it's summer as well we thought it was a good time to try it because she can just be either nappy free or just in undies so she's not going through heaps and heaps of clothes every day with accidents and stuff. I've literally just been relaxing for the last hour and a half or so which has been really nice because I'm, as I said I'm still not feeling good. Now I should probably start thinking about dinner. I'm here to pick up the kids and say hello in three, two, one. Hi, April. Hi. And hi, Koopa. Whoa! 
the afternoon apart like Minu saw me picking up the kids in between when I filmed last and picking up the kids and then we're picking up the kids until now. Yep, I've been feeling really crap so that's why I haven't been talking and vlogging and stuff mm -hmm. and I'm feeling very very crap now and I just want to go to sleep. So we are going to end the vlog but we are going to do the Christmas letter together because we didn't do it in April because this is I think a tradition I want to keep, but I think I want to keep it like involve them when they're a bit older. Mm -hmm. So maybe next year April will understand it a bit more, whereas this year she wouldn't really understand it yet. Maybe. Not that I know what the letter says. It's that time again when it's nice to remember all of the things that we love and treasure. Let's sit down and think and try to be clear of what makes us happy throughout this past year. What made us happy? this past year. I think what I'm going to do is include a montage here of our favourite things of the last year, all the things that we have been thankful for, for yeah. this year. And I'll just do a voiceover of it, a very croaky voiceover of it, because the battery's running out. And montage, go! It's hard to pinpoint exactly what we're grateful for this year, as so much has happened. But I guess the first thing is that we're grateful for a beautiful baby girl. With every new thing that she does, we just love her more and more and more. <laughs> Although there were many bumps in the road, I am very, very grateful for having a healthy pregnancy. Of course, we are grateful for a healthy, beautiful birth of our baby boy which became the beginning of our small family of four. We are grateful and extremely thankful to have family and friends around us to help us during this time. One thing that I was not expecting that I am extremely grateful for is the relationship and bond that has been forming between our son and our daughter. This is something that has been so special to watch and I just cannot wait to see how it forms over the years to come. They are becoming so close and it's just so fun to watch them. But most of all, we are grateful for our little family. The moments we share and the memories that we form mean more to us than anything. We could not love each other more and we will continue sharing that love with each other for the many more years to come. Yay! Montage. Did you enjoy the montage? <laughs> so we're going to end the vlog. Um, comment of the vlog goes to this person. Thank you very much for the comment. <laughs> Question of the vlog. What are you thankful for this past year? Let us know in the comments. Good morning, afternoon, or night, whatever it is where you are. Thank you all for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. I did that backwards, but anyway. Um, and we will see you all in the next vlog. Bye. Bye.